All right, so here we go with uh, the Candy Man. I'm about to play it now. Uh, the Candy Man can. Here we go. <laughs> The urban legend is, if you say his name five times while looking in the mirror, he appears in the reflection and kills you. Who would do that? Candyman. 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 <laughs> well, we're still alive. <laughs> Let's go. Trina, you broke the door. This isn't funny! I feel really connected to this neighborhood. Cabrini Green it was the projects. I just moved in around the corner. The old candy factory. I'm an artist. You look up a candy man. He's the monster. It's part of this neighborhood. Why are you drawn to this? I'm hoping to spread the story all about Candyman. The mirror invites you to summon him. You should say his name. I dare you. Candyman. 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 Shh, shh. Don't. Don't say that. Candyman. made a mistake. I brought him back. Candyman isn't real! Something's happening to me. He had a purpose for you. To be another one of his terrible stories. I guess he found me. I am the writing on the wall. The sweet smell of blood. Think about that, boy. Ah, uh, uh, well, yeah, that was a th um, that went a different direction than I was expecting. Well, you know what? That's actually true to the movie. She was like a photographer, I believe she's a photographer, and uh, it was you know it was originally it was a, a female, and she was like kind of researching that that Candyman stuff and um. And he was killing people. It was making it look like it was her, right? So they kind of look like they following that same uh, pattern where she, uh, I mean, where where he said it or whatever, whatever. And now it looks like he actually doing it, and it ain't really no Candyman or something. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, I was heard that they brought back the original can the original guy who played him, uh, Tony Todd. Um, that. The um, yeah, so I'm like, okay. So it, when I think about, you know, he's older, but I mean, Tony Tyler was like a tall. He probably like, I know he was like well over like six, six five or something. You know, he was right. probably a tall dude that was imposing, and he had this big ass brown fur coat on with a hook. <laughs> and uh, you know, he's gonna be older, but I feel like they're gonna have him in all shadow or whatever, long as he ain't like. Long as he in pretty decent shape, then he can still play the role. You oh know? yeah, yeah, that that won't be a problem if that's how they want to do it. But uh, I'm trying to see Jordan Peele has a thing with uh, music in his movies, man. Uh, like reframing songs and stuff. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody else has was talking about that where he used to, which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah. He took to Destiny Child, say my name, and and. Uh, Kind of remixed it to yeah. mix in with the horror. It's kind of cool because it, it fits like the theme. It. It's similar to what he did with uh, I got five on it uh, with uh, us. So um, yeah, I, I like that idea, you know. Yeah. And that, like, go ahead. 
then it's a better signature than explosions and Megan Fox. <laughs> so. so, but we know he's not directing this. He just produced this. Right. So, um, make sure everybody know that. Right, right. Um, so, you, you'll be like, oh, this is a Jordan Peele movie. It's not. But he probably got his hands on some of it, but somebody else is putting it all together or whatever. Uh, and I think that's intentional on his part because, like, having to come off of, you know, get out and then to us and then, like, I think, and I don't know the man, so I can't say for sure. I think he just wants to facilitate the kind of horror movies he wants to see. Uh-huh. That, you know, that way he doesn't have to worry about, you know, the burden of making the right movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel like... Um, like I would like to see a f- more remakes given to Jordan Peele, um, where like, and I really like if he can make an umbrella of directors and writers that has the same vision that he has, uh, because you know you can't just put everything on one man, right. expect him to keep you know keep it going because he's gonna get you know he's gonna get burnt out and stuff's gonna start to repeat. But if you get an umbrella of directors and writers uh, under him that um, that he can uh, start remaking some of these horror movies, then maybe we can start seeing some good remakes yeah. uh, as opposed to like that remember that, that Friday 13th crap they came out with and uh, that <laughs> in the Nightmare on Elm Street remake, I'm like dude yeah. y'all missing a lot uh, well, y'all got all this source material and y'all still messing up so I would like to see um you know what this other director can do that's under Jordan Peele, so we can maybe right. see some future films um, under his umbrella. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. But um, yeah, it looks good, man. Um, and, and they followed the original story. It really, it just, you know, it's got different actors in those roles, but um, it appears to be the same story from the original Candyman. Um, yeah. And I'm looking like uh, Yaya uh, Martin the second. Is that his name? Yeah. Yaya Abdul Martin the second. Is that his yeah, name? that's it. <clears throat> he looks like Candyman. <laughs> he looks like Tony <laughs> Todd. He looks like a younger version of Tony Todd. So yeah. I'm like, uh, I'm pretty sure where they was going with this is they might have had Tony Todd reprise his role to have small scenes, but for real, you got your candy man right there. Right, right. <laughs> your main character is the well, same. I will say, that voiceover had me shook, dude. It's a younger, but you know, Tony Ty had to, he's got a real, he got a cool sounding voice. Uh, did you hear his voice on the, uh, uh, on the Flash where he did the voice for Zoom? Yeah. Like, Billy. Like, he got this deep ass. <laughs> so, he got the cool voice or whatever, but I'm looking like, if they gonna keep going with this, you already got your candy, man. If, if Tony Ty get too old for it or whatever, he probably say, "Hold up, little dog. Uh, I know you the new kid on the block, but uh, I still got the voice." <laughs> like you gonna be playing Candy Man, but I'm be voicing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, looks good, man. I actually can't wait to see this, and uh, you will get a review for us once it come out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. And um, so subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're trying to get up to a thousand subs, man. Uh, yeah, you got anything you want to say to the people? Hey, nah, man. I'm good. <laughs> now, I'm remember, this is a different video from the first one. Yeah. So say uh, your little, your little end stuff. You know, uh, feel free to like, follow, subscribe, all that. Comment down below. Are you looking forward to this movie? What horror movies would you like to see remade next? See there. Was that so hard? No, see, you usually jump in, step on my line, and then say your little stuff. And then when I say, all right, well, I'm going to uh, stop short so I let him say his stuff. You no, I'm good. Phone. I ain't got nothing to say. You, you know what? My phone. You didn't no, give me no to step no, You know what I'm saying? Because you want to step on my line. You're like, oh, well, shit. He, he stopped soon enough for me to say it, so I'm a, <clears throat> I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> you asshole. Anyway, <laughs> all right, we out of here, man. <laughs> Peace.